here you need to give the reaction condition for this reaction. So you need to memorize the reaction condition. So there's probably 12 different reactions you need to know. So the way I would do it is um, I would have like my notes in one of my little books that I make notes in. And all I would do is the following. I would identify what is this and what is this. So not the name, but just the homologous. So I know that this is a halo alkane. And it's converting into an alcohol. Okay, so you should then have notes on how do you take a halo alkane and you convert it to an alcohol. So halo alkanes are the ones that um, get students the most because this is the one, it's the halo alkanes where um, you can sometimes use concentrated base to turn it into elimination reaction or you can use a dilute base and then that turns it into a substitution reaction. Okay, now... This one's a little bit more interesting though because we're using water. Normally we would use NaOH or KOH. When we are using water, that is the that is like uh, we typically call that one hydrolysis. Okay, so you, in this in this one because we're not using KOH which is a base or NaOH which is a base, um, you're not going to say in the reaction conditions that you're going to add a dilute base because we're not adding a dilute base. What we are gonna do is we're gonna add excess water. We're gonna heat the reaction, but not strongly, just moderately. We typically only use strong heating when we're doing elimination reactions. This is not elimination, this is just a substitution reaction, okay? And then another one, now, um, you just see if your teacher is very strict about this one. Sometimes they don't really expect you to remember this one, but one of them is that you dissolve the halo alkane, which is this one, dissolve the halo alkane in ethanol. Okay, so those are three different reaction conditions that we typically use. We dissolve the haloalkane in ethanol. Okay, so that's this one over here. We add excess water because we need water, of course. And then we just heat the reaction moderately, which is like average. We're not going to heat it up strongly. That's typically only when we use um, elimination. 